man. Okay, so we're gonna have a. I mean, I'm just before we go on though, uh, paper boy is gonna come. Are you okay with that? Uh, and there's, in, I mean, uh, Steve, I think he might have gone home though. Um, so if we just hold that. We got this guy's photo. Yeah, we well, you know exactly what you look color. like, man. And why is your uh, avatar the dinner of uh, um, ISIS? Gold is gold. No, why? Gold is gold. Why is the dinner of ISIS? Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. That's what it's up. Big up. Gold is gold. Gold is gold. So this is Shake One. Gold is gold. There's ever Hekula. Interesting. You're not going to do it. Today. Today. So. Two hundred and seventy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's recording. All right. So. Far right. Yeah, no, Lastly, <laughs> <laughs> his friend Brayden, the Asian man, your skin is like the colour of my shit. Yeah, I'm Brayden, yeah. you are free. I just approached you. Ralph gave him a hug. Ralph gave him a hug. He's a racist yes, individual. Sell out coconut. Coconut, yeah. Bounty, bounty. Right. Two, and let me say something. The Sikh saved the Bounty in 1972. And this is a thanks to him. We saved him from the Pakistanis. The Sikhs and the Pakistanis wanted to uh, Bangladesh and raise the money in the world. Million Bengalis. And this is a thanks to him. Yeah, yeah, we saved your ass. We yeah, saved your ass. You should be grateful, man. So let me go. Alright, so let's start. And so today, yeah, we're going to have a little heck of a lot. And so I'm going to shout a lot here, not because I want to, but because I'm better than these guys. I don't know how to put my voice above those. I've been trying to get them today, I'm going to lose my voice. Tommy Robinson left in, Tommy Robinson is lagging no more. Tommy Robinson needs his brown ass, and I'm ducked in. You don't want to know you anymore. Tommy Robinson don't want to know you anymore. He used you. He used you and he used you and he used you. And Tommy Robinson used you and he used you. He used you and he has been oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Alright, so he's been coming for 10 and years and he's been recording the Dawa team for two years. Now, what's so serious about this is this. <laughs> this individual was linked to Anjum Chowdhury and both me and Steve. Lies! So lies, 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 the only people that actually highlighted it was Shamsi. You told me to hit the phone right now. You said enough lies that believe you, yeah? You said it, you're enough. You're a liar. You're a liar. Yeah, so Paul makes a statement. Coalition. We've got the coalition. And then we're going to go into the leaders. The coalition against Islam. Down here. And some of them are called incompetence. Or even, I don't know, it could be incompetence or it could be Shut up, man. You're not doing MI5 to buy you. You're not doing a bunch of kind of actions which actually Hid this guy within our midst. Because yeah. so this guy cases. now is in prison for promoting terrorism and the individual Abu Qasim. You're messing things up. You're doing what Tommy did. Actually, you are linked with Darren Osborne. Yes, you are linked with Darren Osborne. Yes, you are linked with Darren Osborne. A terrorist Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Good evening, no ladies here. One of the reasons I'm speaking with Raj is no Muslim. I want the wife. I want the wife. It is good. I want the wife. It is the man. They know, they notice the heckler. He's a serious topic as well. He got uncle on my bench. Yeah, he got uncle on my bench. Okay, okay. 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 This guy got uncle on my bench. Are you okay with this? There's other people who are fired and they have a four month ban, six months ban. Look at this, everyone in the bus guy. We seem to be heckling because he's okay with extremism. Him and him. So this guy here and that guy here are okay with extremists. They want to try and heckle and get past the real point. You're a great You're a great deal, man. It is great news. The man we all know that can see in a regular speaker's corner in London for over 10 years. He was at 2.15 on Tuesday convicted under the Terrorism Act of four charges of disseminating terrorist material and one of possessing articles used for terrorism. Hooray! The trial took place. Up. Up. Yeah, one down. One down. down. <laughs> 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 
Yes. Old Bailey in London here. One down, more to go. Now the flop. His real name, as has already been said, is Mohammed Abdul Ahad. What's the flop? 38. 38. He calls himself a Muslim, man. He does say this. He calls himself a Muslim. Is this Muslim behavior? Is this Islamic behavior? You're monastic, man. That's it. Film him, film him, film him, film him. Are you okay that the guy is in prison now? Do you are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm very happy. So why are you? This is um, Sheikh One. He is an individual that is upset that a, a, a guy that's promoting terrorism is in prison. So why are you upset? Why are you upset? Robinson left you. He used you and used you and left you. He left you. You don't want to know you no more. How come Tommy Robinson didn't give you the vote? He used you, left you, and all counts left you by a unanimous jury. Abu Qasim is now facing. Yeah, this is how the Abu Qasim shot his strip search and got the money. He told me to get strip search because of this guy in it. That's what happened to me. Are you? 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 Turn the camera, CEO. That's shake one. Shake one. He was spreading the speeches of a convicted uh, ISIS preacher, terror recruit, a wife from her husband, black families, the Shayatin, the young families, the public speeches of glorious terrorist organizations, including ISIS, Al Qaeda, and he encouraged listeners to join. That's bullshit. That's propaganda. That's bullshit. That's why he was found guilty of listening to some stuff before ISIS even came about. now, the next thing I want to say is about Speaker's Corner. We have evidence. You said you want to do that. We have See his blog, everyone. This is how shocked they are. Instead of condemning their Muslim brother and saying, the prophet says, how can you be saying he's in prison? Look, you are your friend. Look, this is a study of Speaker's Corner. This is a study of Speaker's Corner. They support him. I support ISIS. They support this individual by the fact that they are not I just finished what I'm saying. I want to now talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm speaking now purely from the Speaker's Corner perspective. And here are my thoughts about the bigger picture at Speaker's Corner. Who are the good guys at Speaker's Corner? Definitely not you. I'm definitely not Sam. These are without doubt. These are without doubt. Salafi. I'm going to get highlighted. I'm and his colleagues from DUS Dawa. They have fearlessly confronted the violent extremists at the park. Abu Qasim, Bilal, Suleiman, Abdul Hakim so, and others. So what the fuck? All what, of these what, what, are known associates of the you godfather you, of you, UK you, terrorism, you Andrew you Terrorism. Get job, you the payroll, they are all extremely dangerous job. men. They got bad jobs, they got you to do their work. All these people, except Suleiman, who's not here today as far as I'm aware, are now banned from the Speaker's Corner. Shamsi, who is a hero in this story, has always refused to be friends with these guys or hang out with them. He has publicly yeah, disassociated himself from them and explained openly and clearly how their evil ideology is condemned in the Quran and in the Sunnah. He is a role model for Muslims everywhere. What, to become a Muslim? Oh, stuff. Who are the bad guys? These are the Muslims down here who have at one time or another either, either refused to join in the fight against the terrorist ideology the Speaker's Corner, or worse still, have deliberately 
put obstacles in the path of those Muslims MBS. committed to fight against this evil. Tyrannical dictators in the Middle East. I'm reading, by the way, from my article on bloggingtheology.com. Here are the names of some of these people, the bad guys for the rebels. Number one, Mansur Ahmad. Mansur, who's over there? Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. Mansur is a world is a well known and high profile Muslim, high profile Muslim who is famous on YouTube for refuting Christians and atheists at the park. Just over a year ago, when I became alarmed, the ISIS activists they used the park and abused him. I decided to publicly call out Abdul Hakim. Tommy Robinson, Abdul Hakim is notorious. How come you don't see more to Tommy Robinson anymore? I can't take far right. I don't like him anymore. And uh, there was a, a oh, famous Channel 4 video called Jihadi Next Door. Uh, Hakim was on that, uh, an open supporter of ISIS. How much I challenged Abdul Hakim How here much are they paying? on camera. And How I was the first person in the park to challenge these guys. As a result, I received a huge amount of criticism from many Muslims for my actions, which I was told contradicted certain hadith, which I won't go into. I invited Mansur to join me in my public campaign to expose the extremists in our midst. He has the right not to join. He refused. 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 He said to me, he had the right to stay neutral. nothing to do with him, he said. He had the right to stay neutral. He's the guy who... You don't have to get involved with confronting no, 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 no. them. You don't have to turn your I plead you with Mansur to use the moral authority he possesses right to refute, to refute to these dangerous to people publicly and by name, as I had attempted to do, but to no avail. Mansur was happy to condemn terrorism in theory, but not to lift a finger to confront real propagators of terrorist ideology out the park. I was appalled. Mansur, Mansur and I were good friends. This incident destroyed our friendship. Last Sunday, however, last week, Mansur finally joined forces with Adnan and a few others in confronting Abu Qasim. You can see this on YouTube. But it was too little, too late. Too little, too late. Because he refused to do it. I've never seen last week. Where he came two days before the guy was convicted. The president of the Saudi Rashid. He's been filming you for them. two years straight. One of them. If I could just finish now. Someone asked me in a question, you can read this on my blog, bloggingtheology.com. What are my thoughts on Adnan Rashid, Ali Dawa, and Mohammed Hijab? And I answered uh, as follows. And I stand by what I wrote on the 10th of December. Adnan Rashid has come in for a great deal of unfair criticism from recently from certain non Muslims like yours truly and Steve the atheist. But he is a very effective and moderate dawah carrier. When it comes to Ali Dawa, I have, I have personal issues with Ali Dawa unrelated to this subject. So I will say nothing about that here. However, however, he has spoken out. Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa has spoken out. Ali Dawa has spoken out frequently against the extremists at the park. So credit where credit is due. And as regards to Mohammed Hijab, I say I don't know Mohammed. Hijab. So I'm not going to comment on him. Uh, so that's my article on my blog, and I stand by every word. Uh, the, the good, the guys down here, who just happen to be mainly the Salafis, Shamsi, Anwar, their colleagues, the bad guys, those who failed to speak out until very recently, and then. I do are heckling right now saying you're this and you're that. We have got one more person off the street. what you do. What comes Oh, no, he wasn't pretentious, he was encouraging uh, uh, spreading ISIS ideology, which calls for the killing of innocent men and women and children, including Muslims, on the streets of London. These yeah, guys are so dangerous, you wouldn't believe it. They're lethal, lethal people. And I thank God that Abu Qasim, 
the scumbag is on the street. And, 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 and he, will, he will go to prison for many years. Don't turn, don't turn him, don't turn him. He's a camera, he's a camera. Let me, let me film. I'll do, I'll do, I'll do. Look, these are the guys. Shake one, Ray Dunya. So, Shake one, we got your photo. We got your photo. Haida Ali. Haida Ali. Haida Ali. Haida Ali. Haida Ali. Haida Ali. And we got your photo as well, so don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We got both of you. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. These two are the problem. Instead of thanking him, they're now demonizing him. Why? Why are you demonizing him? Why are you demonizing him? Ask that question. Because do they support him? Do they support Abu Qasim? Is that why they are angry that he's in prison? Do you support Abu Qasim? Do you support Abu Qasim? Do you condemn Abu Qasim? Do you condemn Abu Qasim? Do you condemn Abu Qasim? All right, so you can see. Now, COE, he can't turn the camera around, but these guys are the reason why. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Turn it, turn it. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Turn it around, turn it around. Look, this guy here, this guy here, and that guy over there are a disgrace to the UK. They pull, they pull, they pull, they pull, they pull, they pull, they pull. Look, this is the problem with the UK. These guys, these guys, this guy. <laughs> got your face, got your face. Your mask come down. Got it clear. Got it clear. You saw what it looks like now. Do you now? Condemn Abu Qasim. All right, so look at that. Yeah, I condemn Darren Osborne. I can get. Yeah, I condemn the EDL. Now what? Right, go on, go on, go on. My paper boy's gonna do his thing now. So basically, uh, I'm just gonna start with a few things in terms of Abu Qasim. Now, this guy is a very dangerous person. Oh my god, how and dangerous? So, so basically, how come the MR5 ain't going? How come the MR5 ain't going? How come the MR5 ain't going? When, uh, ah, I like how come the MR5 ain't going? How come the MR5 ain't going? And he, he made like three no, videos no, of him. No, no, the first no, video, no, 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 we're going to put this on the sofa as well. No, 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 but it says, for example, it says, betrayed Muslim, right? And I've shown this to you already. So this is what he was putting on his This is inside of other Muslims, right? This was June last year. Three weeks ago, even though while he's at court and he's not allowed to use the internet, he's put another video. And it says, Speaker's Corner Hyde Park, truth about Paul Williams. So it's a video dedicated just to him. And it says, Say, die in your rage. Indeed, Allah is knowing of that within the breast. So here is using terminology of he's betrayed Muslims and that he should die in his rage. Now, this is the thing is this someone that you, people would call is a respectable Muslim? And he put one other video and I'm going to play a clip. Because we're seeing oh, the cameras have already shown these people are the, 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 these people are the cause of Islamophobia. Because I'll tell you why. Because when people stand up against things of extremism, you have people like these people who then try and mock, mock and tackle the people who are actually try to bring to light. So the Muslim community should look at your own Islamic people. Look at their behaviour because these people are the cause of Islamophobia. In the court, the judge said, and actually um, the judge used these uh, video oh, yeah. to confront, the of are, him are, confronting are, he didn't ask for it though he didn't ask the judge okay. used he, these video of that. him confronting Abu Qasim oh, as oh, evidence oh, against him but listen to these two people that when we're standing up against these things they're attacking the judge used the line of speaker's corner because he had the bravery to confront these people but then when we ask the Islamic community such as these two people no 
notice the behaviour. Notice the behaviour. You, your dean has failed you. Your dean has failed you. You're the one acting low IQ, man. Look at you. Jeez. I'm gonna. Now this is the third video, and it says speakers corner, Paul exposed. So it's got a, a quote from Paul when he said, "I have left." Islam, it's done. I can't return to your religion. You it violates my sense of right and wrong as an Englishman. Now here we see an Islamic sheikh, and I'm going to play you what this Islamic sheikh. And this is Sheikh Faisal, isn't it? Yeah. Be careful, though. Be careful. It looks like a piece of But this is what the video that Abu Qasim put up. And tell me if he's not an extremist. It's a three minute video. What? Okay, so if it's terrorist stuff, why are you playing terrorist material? Then why are you playing terrist material? So we're going to put this on Soko anyway. Yeah. If it's terrorist stuff, why are you playing terrorist material? Listen to what he's saying. It's double bullshit, man. It's bullshit. Why? Why are you playing that stuff? If, if, if you're such a big threat, yeah, terrorism and stuff, yeah, why are you playing it for? Why are you playing it for? If it's such a terrorist, why are you playing his material? Yeah, you're playing the material I'm like, going done. You got the, so why are you spreading the propaganda for? You're a liar. And then the day you're playing something which you got someone else got done for, and then you're playing it live in public. So basically, yeah. it's a video. We're gonna put the clip clips on Soko, but it's a video calling for the execution of Paul because he left Islam. You just and for being gay, and, and he, you just another part yeah, in the video, the I won't play right now. So it. Really basically, the video is Paul has returned to Islam, but the thing is, what are you joining? Why I did? Why don't you join it? I just want to explain very briefly. This really is the reason why. Those two. Because the reason I left was because the reason I had the majority of people were done for. Yeah, you got the same crime. Yeah, you got the same thing. Yeah, trying to be terrorist. We're wrong, Islamic. You just played the same. And thing. I felt it was my public duty. Right. All right. I people who were a real physical threat. I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 It's because of their terrorist yeah, ideology. I I, and I was I told by yeah. many respected people that what I did was contrary to Islam. Yeah. Well, and this, this really, 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 this, really, this really hit me hard. And I thought, actually, what I did was right. It's common sense. We're supposed to forbid evil and call out evil. But what I did, because it was wrong calling them out publicly, it caused me to have. A crisis of faith. One down, and I decided two more to go. I, yeah. Yeah. I, was being I couldn't yeah. actually confront uh, violent extremists at the time. Am I fighting over the crisis? Who the, the people are? Whatever the after it was. Am I fighting over the crisis? They got everybody. They know who's who. Golly. Am I fighting over the crisis? You get it patiently. When you got lied to, you get it. You got lied to. You got lied to. You got lied to. And he said, "Am I fighting over the crisis?" Now there are real times when you must. And actually he is right. So I, I then learned what I never learned from most of the people down here at that time who were telling me I was wrong to call out violent extremism. I learned that I was right. And as soon as I believed that and understood that, I came back to Islam. I left because of the the misinformation and so you join them and guys like this people and who are like more similar than people who are more similar than people who are more similar than people Anyway, so that's the story. I left because I, was, I left for a wrong reason. I didn't know it was a wrong reason. I now know the truth about Islam on this issue. I was right to call out violent extremists. Those who refused to do so in the past, like Hashim and Mansur and others, are in the wrong. And they're the people who are morally culpable when it comes to these issues. So I came back. So can I just clarify? Now, just a very fast thing. Under Sharia, by the way, if someone leaves Islam, they're not just executed. The procedure is very clear. A scholar comes along, a knowledgeable person comes along, Chef, and they find Chef out William, why, yeah, scholar. why so are you saying that? And they want you to know the, the reason. Yeah, he's he's a the 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 and they would tell you the, the right Islamic the teaching. And in effect, that's what happened. Yeah. I was approached by one of the Salafi brothers who told me the truth. Once I heard it, I embraced Islam again. But I left this misunderstanding. So when I said, I'm now going to follow myself as an Englishman, what I meant was, good English values of Actually, supporting the police against crime, calling us terrorists, not, not colluding with evil. That's what this I found. This guy got a Muslim because family Because I found my Islam search, was, was not, not fit for purpose. Now I know better. Now I know better. That's the real story. Come here.
Nam Sikh. Come here. Alright, so can I just say one thing? Let me just say split up family. Where did it come? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to wrap up. So basically, I'm going to do a more in depth look at this on Soko. But I just want everyone to notice again the two people who were heckling. Um, these like one, these people are the root Grace causes Dunia. of Islamophobe because they couldn't even condemn someone who has been convicted. Notice, notice, notice. they couldn't even condemn someone who has been convicted of extremism. These people are the cause of Islamophobia because when people are actually confronting them, you are, do you condemn Adam, uh, Abu Qasim? Do you, you see? I don't have to. I don't have to. He said he doesn't condemn him. He said he doesn't condemn him. What about Usman Khan? What about Karam Bak? Karam Bak? Karam Bak? The murderer, the terrorist. I don't have to answer any questions. Who am I? I'm insignificant. Who am I to answer your questions? This guy? Would not condemn That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that's the difference. Shut up, man. Shut up. I'm going to go back. I have to answer. No, no, no. 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 I have to answer